Yes, three very different sort of surprise eggs, and they are surprises because I have no idea what's going on inside until you cut them open. Warning, this video contains extremely graphic footage of deadly spiders, deadly spider egg sacs, and deadly spiders being killed by chemical control. Well, hello, this is basically a follow-up video. We're going to take a look at some redback spider eggs that were in that pot of mummies that I used a spray to kill those spiders there, plus that one there, three eggs came out. The spray that I used was this one here, Mortine Fast Knockdown, and as we learnt, it was very effective. There's Mrs. Redback there, little does she know what's headed her way. Coming in for the spray, and I'm gonna try and not cut the camera so we can watch what goes on. Here we go. Okay, that's what I'm calling just a spray. Oh, something else ran out there, she's dropped to the ground. Okay, she's looking very slow now, but these spiders can play dead so easily. Yeah, she doesn't like it, obviously. A bit of a stinky spray, I must admit, but if it's effective, I don't care. Well, apart from that female redback spider, there was, of course, the egg sacs. Now, that does that spray also knock out what's going in inside the egg sacs? A very short spray nailed these spiders really, really fast. This other spider here, which I think was a wolf spider, did survive for a bit, but it ended up dying. But the million dollar question is, if there are spiderlings in these eggs, have they been killed by the spray? This is the same day these spiders were killed. It's a couple of hours later now. I'm very curious to see whether, if there are spiderlings, whether they are still alive. And also today, I put the Vaseline underneath the lip of Mummy's pot plant. So the theory behind this is actually very, very simple. I have actually applied some Vaseline to my scary spider home here. That's all the red backs from the infestations that I've had. With Vaseline here and also across the top, and they cannot set their webs or live in the area where the Vaseline is. All of their living and web making has to happen down below. And believe me, putting the Vaseline in there has not stopped them from living the high life or giving birth. I've got my spider sacks there, I've got my scalpel, I've got my tweezers, and I've got my gloves. Let's do it. Yes, three very different sort of surprise eggs, and they are surprises because I have no idea what's going on inside until you cut them open, although I suspect this one's got spiderlings because it is slightly darker than the others. I notice they darken up uh, once the spiderlings develop, but I might be wrong. I've got to start cutting, and we will cut into this one first. I've actually got used to looking down through camera and working with tweezers and stuff. Maybe I will become a surgeon and earn lots of money. Uh, the first one of these, remember I opened up, it had been in water and everything was dead. Uh, the protective sack is actually very strong. Whether that spray can permeate this sack is the big, big question. I think it's important to understand, I tell you, because uh, when you want spider control, you want total control, don't you? You want to kill the little babies plus the adults. And we're getting into this first one. Who knows what is going to come out of this? Dead or alive? I love the way it's all woolen. These are just eggs. I can't see any developed no that's just eggs in this one which is uh beautiful in a way but also a little bit scary because there are just so many in here these guys i think it averages out about 250 eggs per egg sack that's a lot of little deadly redback spiders all looking for places of the home when they develop this is the second egg let me get a nice gr grip there uh, I might have noticed in the, the spider home that I've got, I've been trying to capture time lapse of them laying an egg, but they seem to only do it in total darkness. They don't like the fact that they're under the spotlight and being videoed. In fact, I think they've got a great spider sense. They, those spiders in that tank know when I'm around. It's when I'm away they start to play, and there's something a little bit different inside this one, I think. Ooh, but is it dead? This is the big, big $10 million question. I think what's going on in here is very, very immature spiderlings. Because I've opened up the ones where they were coming out and are basically trying to overtake the planet, I've seen them when they're extremely mature. I think what's in there are ones that are very, very baby, I think. I have to try and see if I can get a, a close-up shot of that. I'm shooting down through a magnifying glass. What is in this one is extremely immature spiderlings. Uh, very, very small. Put it so I can't see little baubles rolling around like you do when you get eggs which haven't become spiderlings. But the main thing there is nothing is alive. Yeah, those spiderlings are very, very small. Extremely immature. I don't know how long it takes them to get to this stage. I don't know how long uh, the whole egg sac saga goes on for i'm sure someone in the audience will know 
So that spider spray might be scoring some more points from me, I can tell you. And on to our last, the leg. Just get it in the right spot here. This is the last of the three eggs, and I highly suspect this has got more mature spiderlings. Only saying that for the colour, I might be wrong, it's just from what I've learnt so far along the way. My goodness, you want to be learning stuff, don't you? Or else you're just wasting your time looking at things. And yes, we have mature spiderlings in here. Uh, yeah, they're quite mature, actually very mature. But the big question is, are these guys dead or alive? Uh, it's looking very good for that uh, spider killer spray. I got a sneaky suspicion everyone in here is, uh, has passed. And I'm not upset about that at all because uh, the spider infestation at our place is chronically bad. And when you start to see how many spiders are inside an egg sac, you start to understand how these apocalyptic spiders are taking control. Let me get these spiderlings out. Let's see if anyone's still moving. I'll be honest here, I can't see one of these guys moving at all. There's not a shred of movement in these. I'm pretty sure they've all been killed. So as amazing as the egg sac is that the redback spider has, it hasn't protected the spiderlings inside from the spider spray that I use to kill the spiders. And that really is good news for us. Even though spiderlings look a little bit immature to me, on the tip of my knife is the eggs before they become spiderlings, so you get a bit of a scale there. We're talking about very, very tiny things here. Well, at least we've learned something, I hope, in this video. So it ends up being a win-win situation, the humans over the spiders. It looks like the humans have had a winning day today. And just a reminder, this was the product that I used, which has killed the spiderlings in those spider sacks. Crawling up here, crawling insect killer, with a picture like that, fast knockdown, more teen. Well, I just hope we've all learned something in this. I have to admit, I'm not a fan of chemical solutions. Mind you, with the problems that I've had, I'm having to resort to them. When I use a chemical solution, I want it to work fast and efficiently, and from what I can see, that product has done exactly that. Hmm, I'm starting to wonder exactly what goes on inside the backside of these guys. I wonder if you could do a nice clean open up of these. Without getting too messy. No. It's always going to get messy, isn't it? Oh. I'd never make a surgeon, would I? Not a chance. I should say this up the end of the video. I have no commercial connection or shares in the Mortine Company. What I have learned in life is generally you get what you pay for. But I am curious whether a generic spider spray would have the same effect on these spiders. I know there are many people who made comments on that video where I sprayed the spider on Mummy's pot plant and they said the egg sacs wouldn't be affected because it's such a protective barrier. Well, in this video, I have just proved those people wrong. I don't sign off like I used to, but maybe the best thing to do is go outside, have a look in the garden, but always be careful of deadly spiders.